Now, I will never forget when I knew that my physiology truly had changed or was in the process of changing was I had a nightmare and the subject of the nightmare was being tricked into eating something that had meat in it. I'd been, it uh, was about six, I don't know, five, maybe five months into really seriously practicing the mucus's diet and I'd been off of meat for a long, fairly, for me at that time, that was a long period of time to have not eaten any meat in a couple months. Uh, it was a long period of time. And at the, I was using vegetarian chili at the time to transition. And uh, some of the vegetarian chili had some of the mock meat kind of stuff in it. And that was helping me transition. But I had a dream where I was on a soccer field uh, playing, uh, playing some kind of like a pickup game of soccer or something. And somebody brought out this big pot of chili and they told me that it was vegetarian chili or no meat was in it. And, they, and I kept asking, I was nervous about doing it, but then I find they, they were like, no, it's, it's, we, we promise. And so I had some of it. As I was eating it, they started laughing at me. And I, and, and I said, what? And then they said, man, there's meat in that. And that I realized, and I had such a disturbing f feeling in my stomach. And I woke up at that moment and I, and I had that feeling like, I, it, it's, it's almost indescribable. Uh, it, it, it's like when I get on the mucus's diet path, I felt like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I found the answers that I'm looking for. This is it. And once you start to clear your body up of the dead animal products, if you, when you go back to those dead animal products, it's possible to feel intense emotional instability and anxiety. And that's what this was. It was deeper, it, it, it was deeper than just feeling some anxiety or disappointment. It was as if I had failed or I, or I was on the, on the road to failing my life's mission or something. I mean, it was a very, very deep experience that really solidified things for me you know so that was a, a somewhat spiritual experience that I had through this dream through that dream and uh, and I was committed ever since I was real serious but I'm not going back to dead animal flesh I'm not going back to dairy uh, and the only other time that I had something that had meat in it was on accident and that's something that I learned about that because I went and got some minestrone soup at a restaurant and uh, later on, I, I didn't do my research. I didn't ask the question: Is is this uh, is this vegan? You know, is there do they use what type of broth is this? Turned out it had uh, meat broth or beef broth that I, I didn't know. And uh, so that was one of the last times that I ever ate at a restaurant. I stopped eating at restaurants. Period, because I couldn't control. I did, it was hard to find out what the ingredients were. I couldn't control things. They couldn't make salads better than I could make it. There was, I, I've never went to a restaurant that could ever make a salad the way that I wanted it to be. Uh, and so the eating out proposition was out for me at that point.